I'm Dr. Sapna Nangya, I'm a senior consultant in radiation oncology at the Apollo Proton Cancer Center, and I look after the head and neck, breast, and gynae programs. I did my undergraduate training at the Armed Forces Medical College in Pune from the years 1981 to 85. Uh, this was followed by a stint in the Army Medical Corps. This was an extremely valuable experience. Um, instilling in discipline and service and something that has stood me in good stead um, all these years. Uh, following this, I did my post-graduation in radiation oncology at the prestigious Sanjay Gandhi Postgraduate Institute of Medical Sciences in Lucknow. Following this, I moved to uh, Delhi and uh, for a number of years, I worked at the Batra Hospital in Medical Research Center at uh, that time, a cradle of uh, uh, oncology, one of the first few oncology centers in the private sector. This was an exposure to a wide-ranging set of treatments and uh, patient types, and also um, the experience of setting up one of the first few intensity modulated radiotherapy programs in the country. Along with that, a very val valuable part of that was uh, starting the DNB program and it has in fact been very satisfying to see uh, students and residents trained at Batra Hospital at positions of responsibility in various centers uh, in North India. Following this I was the chief radiation oncologist at the International Oncology Center at Fortis Hospital Noida and this was an exciting time when we implemented image-guided radiotherapy as well as a stereotactic body radiotherapy program. Following this, there was a stint at, a long stint at Indraprastha Polar Hospital, New Delhi. It was particularly satisfying because we could put in place an MR-based brachytherapy program. I could initiate deep inspiratory breath hold uh, for left-sided breast cancer treatments and in addition to that, what was very satisfying was doing some, what was then pioneering work in uh, patients who had undergone, who had hepatocellular carcinoma with portal vein tumor thrombus. And uh, we did stereotactic body radiotherapy and hypofractionated radiation for these patients, along with the liver transplant team. During my years in uh, oncology, which is since 1992, I have always been very keen on adopting and learning, keeping up with uh, the latest in the field. And I've also been very keen on sharing this with my uh, fellow radiation oncologist students and have been an active part of uh, many educational activities. At the Apollo Proton Cancer Center, we have been applying, we have been pioneering the application of proton therapy uh, in the country and in head and neck cancers it has been very satisfying because proton therapy allows us to reduce the toxicity of treatment. The toxicity of head and neck radiation can be significant in the form of mucosal inflammation, in the form of difficulty in swallowing, uh, dryness of the mouth and proton therapy allows us to reduce this. In addition, proton therapy also allows us to improve the quality of treatment in vulnerable populations such as pediatrics, such as the older age group of patients, and also results in better outcome in patients who have lesions in the base of skull and the paranasal sinus region. I also look after the breast cancer program, and in that it has been satisfying uh, to be able to introduce cardiac sparing proton therapy uh, for breast cancer. This reduces the cardiac toxicity of treatments for patients who may be vulnerable, such as diabetics, obese, patients who have previous ischemic heart disease, uh, who have um, a chronic kidney disease and therefore are more prone to developing cardiotoxicity due to radiation. In addition, we have also helped uh, administer this treatment in young women in whom the risk of second cancer, uh, radiation-induced second cancer, is reduced when we use proton therapy. We look forward to this continuing this journey forward. We look forward to continuing this journey and reaching out to more and more patients, always remembering 
that it's not just the machine but also the um, expertise, the application and the dedication that make treatment outcomes better. Thank you.